in stages of grieving, merong denial. It may be a normal, uh, it, it may be a normal, ano ba, response initially. Pero if ang denial is magtagal, then we say, probably ego is uh, having difficulty in coping with the loss of the father. May sige man siya deny, no? Hindi totoo yan. My father is, ano, is still alive, mga ganyan. So, uh, this is just a simplistic way of giving you an example on how important it is to use and analyze defense mechanisms because that is how you will gauge if ego is functioning well or overwhelmed na siya. Na? Papa, mm -hmm. Okay. So, so murag ano po siya, Dok? Murag ano? guide na mo siya sa patients na mo, Dok, na if immature defenses ang gigamit niya, then Matan ako minga basig na gati compensate na siya, Dok, as ano. Oo, uh oo. -oh, uh -oh. And then, if yan na yung ano nyo, basis ng psychodynamics ninyo and target ng inyong psychotherapy. So, that's why it's, it's important na maintindihan nyo ang patients ninyo, maintindihan nyo ang psychodynamics and so that you can help the patient better. Na, kaya ito, important itong ego psychology. So, uh, clear na yung adaptation to reality. Take note, there are uh, conscious, uh, conscious defense mechanisms. There are unconscious defenses. Na? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. sige we will leave defense uh, defense mechanisms baka later pagbalik balik ta na later sige continue na ko okay pa the um so another function of our ego is object for object relationships which is the capacity for mutually satisfying relationship that has been traditionally attributed to the ego although self a relationship are more properly a function of the whole person um, the self with, of which the ego is a functional component. So the evolution in the child's capacity for relationship with others, progressing from initial relations, relations with maternal and other caretaking figures to social relationship within the family and, the, and then relationship within the larger community is related to this capacity. So that is object relationship. Example. <laughs> You know Margaret Muller na? Margaret. Mm, object relations na theory po do. Ay, di ba meron kayong didactics on theories of personality? Yes po. Or developmental. Oh, hindi pa kayo nag-usap kung po sa Margaret Muller. It has something to do, nakafocus talaga siya sa object relations. Parang hindi pa siya na abutan do. Tapos do. Asa ah, naman kayo ngayon? Kay Bago lang kay Last... Freud. Ah, o si Freud pa kami do. Ah, si Ah, okay. Di na natin pag-usapan. <laughs> Kita niyo ko an uh, consultant. Si Dr. Benig. Ah, sige. <laughs> sige. Oh, sige. Ah, Ah, paano naman ito? Paano niyo maintindihan ito kung hindi niyo? Sige ba, example daw nitong object relationships na ito. Kanari, ano, Doc? Um, kapag si mother is um, kapag si mother is parang uh, a good mother and a, a responsive mother then kapag nagkaroon siya ng relationship later on yung bata, parang ma-relate niya yung expected na uh, parang ano ba yan, Dok? Teka. Call a friend. Tawagin natin, hindi ko narinig yung process ni birthday girl. September ah, birthday girl. Sheng. 
Hello, po. Good morning. Hi, uh, Shen. Hello. Belated. Um, thank you, po. Wait lang po, dog. Nag-iisip ako. Pero may alam akong <laughs> <laughs> expert sa object relationships. Ah, si Des. Si, si Des ba? <laughs> Sige, bigyan ko kayo ng example ha. Adult, adult naman ganyan sample ni Mekong, which is tama man din, no? Pero, uh, i- let's go to basic. When a child, uh, when you think of ano, object relationship, we look at how the child relates to the mother in the early stages of development. So, yung 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 according to, hindi na ito, ano ha, Sigmund, pero yung si Margaret Muller, nag din siya kay ano, Sigmund Freud. Kasi siya man talaga yung original, tapos nagkakaroon na lang. Yung ibang theories, nagkakaroon na lang ng different ano, mutations of the theory. No? Some disagree, some agree, some uh, ano, use some of the principles of what Sigmund Freud has uh, ano ba? has formulated. So, pag um, ang sabi daw, ang baby, of course, yung period of autism, where akala ng baby, ang, ang mother is part of the self. Tapos later, di ba nasabi ko, mag-separate na siya. No? So, Habang nag-separate siya, ma-feel ng baby na hala, hindi na pala siya part ng aking sarili. So, uh, as the baby grows old, di ba meron siyang separation anxiety and stranger anxiety? If you remember those things, napag-usapan nyo na ba? Answer. Yes, <laughs> Okay. So, Yung stranger anxiety, di ba, pag makakita siya ng strange face. Kasi alam na ma-recognize niya na hindi ito kilala ko. Pero yung separation anxiety, it has something to do with how the infant relates to the mother. Okay? Um, uh, an example, ano ba? yung sa memory kasi ng baby, ma- maalala niya kung makita niya. Okay? Tapos, Diba yung anong, anong, anong age ba ng infant na ilang beses mo gulat-gulatin kay itago mo ang face mo tapos bulaga tapos magulat siya kahit ilang beses mo siya ginagawa ng ganyan always the same reaction na magulat siya na ha ikaw pala yan ha ikaw uh, I, I hope you had uh, fun na experience na yan when you were playing with a baby who still has no uh, ano, symbolism in his mind. Huh? So, kaya pag, uh, pag mawala ang mother, matakot na siya. Kay baka, the mother will never come back. Okay? It's also the same when a child, hihide mo ang kanyang toy, kana matakot siya or mag-iyak siya kasi parang feeling niya hindi na magbalik yung toy sa kanya. Yan yung, yung, yung later part. Pero yung earlier part, tumawala ang, ang, ano, ang toy, makalimutan din niya. Pero, pagka uh, malampasan na niya yan, tapos makita na niya na an, yung hinahanap na niya, pag malampasan niya yung stage, ito na yun, meron, nakaform na ang, ano, nakaform na ang infant ng symbolism. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? that even if the mother is a, is away, there's the image of the mother imprinted on the infant's mind na. No? Kaya, uh, kampante na siya na hindi siya mawala. No? Kasi may symbolism na siya. Medyo malalim na ito ha, pero that's the only way how to make you understand object relations. Okay? So ganyan, kung okay lang, kung okay lang talaga ang ganyang development, Yung sinasabi ni Mekong na kung pag-adult na tapos love object, hindi na niya ahanapin, hindi na siya maghahanap ng mother figure sa kanyang love object. 
kasi stable na ang ano uh, stable na ang image or yung ano ng mother sa kanya na so that the, the the adult will now look for somebody that will fulfill his criteria for happiness in a relationship so ano yung ibig sabihin yan so kunyari ang babae sige lang pili og mga tigulang na ng mga lalaki tingnan ninyo baka there's something wrong with ano yung yung ano yung symbolism niya sa as a father yung father niya kasi yung yung mga ganyang relationships they tend to fail because any any love object can never replace the symbolism of the father or the mother in the child's uh, in the adult's heart and mind no so yan na yan siya yan yung object relationships so paano yun na connect sa ego now that you know me kung sige daw i connect mo daw sa <laughs> to guide you ulitin mo muna yung definition na object relations Object relationships, um, the capacity for mutually satisfying relationship has been traditionally attributed to the ego, although some other relationships are more properly a function of the whole person, the self, of which the ego is a functional component. So, in the evolution in the child's capacity for relationship with others, progressing from initial relations with maternal and other caretaking features to social relationship within the family, and then relationship within the larger community is related to this capacity. Parang Tapos, relationship capacity. Uh -oh. So you go back to your ikaw, di ba yung iyong original sample, uh, ano mo, example? Yung sa mother po, Doc. Ah. Asa ka yung child. So kung parang maganda yung relationship nila and then na parang nabuo niya yung capacity on how to deal with parang how to handle a relationship that it is likely then in the future that the yung kapag healthy yung kanyang nabuo na ano doc ba parang tama ba doc <laughs> so tama. later on Sige. so pag cope up niya pagkaroon niya ng relationship paano niya, alam niya na din on how to handle the, the healthy way parang ganun doc so you, if you will fully understand that when you understand the theories of personality, na alala no, no, puro, puro mother-child relationship. Yes, Des? Can I try po, Doc? What I Ay, understand. salamat, Des. <laughs> okay, Des. Um, from what I understood po, so it starts in infancy po, during the nurturing, yung nag-nurture yung mother. So parang may good breast and bad breast. So yung parang good breast po, Doc, yun yung time na nag-nurse yung mama. So the, the, the infant would feel safe, um, would feel kanang ma masa asetitid po, hindi siya, hindi siya hungry. And then yung bad breast po, yung time na wala si mom. So parang ano niya, yung parang parang interpretation niya is um bad yung world um evil parang ganun tas uh, at first is um feeling niya isa lang yung ano uh, at first is um yung thinking ng infant is separate si good and bad breath pero over time as kanang as the, the infant grows older uh, yung ma yung ma shape niya yung parang unified self niya doc ma realize niya na same lang pala si good breast at saka si bad breast. So if ever ma learn if ma learn ito ni cha ni infant ma 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 tolerate ng kanyang ego yung ambiguity bit doc na um in in one in one in one let's say person or in one um situation meron talagang good at meron talagang bad. So yun parang na, na form parang ma, ma form niya dun sa sa ego niya na merong ganun. So as the child grows older, uh, matolerate din niya yung, yung like say in the relationship uh, na in a relationship meron talagang good, meron talagang bad. Tapos yung yung object niya is yun yung parang doon yung focus ng kanyang um, desires, yung mga ganun. Um, wh whatever is yung object niya, 
um, the object is meron ding good, meron ding bad. So, isa, isa lang siya. Parang ganun po, Dok. Okay, that's one example. So, ang bottom line niyan is when we talk of object relationships, we go back to the mother-infant relationship. Na? So, ang, ang sinasabi lang na uh, so ideal, then the person will have uh, good relationships in future as an adult. Pero please take note na hindi lang, kasi infancy pa man yan, no? yung mother-child relationship, infancy and childhood. Pero as the person grows up, there, there will be, there, may impact yun, but future experiences will also influence how a person relates to other people. Uh, so it's not only a uh, mother-child uh, relationship, mga other types of relationships like yung mga teacher, mga role modeling ng mga teachers, at saka ano ba yung mga significant persons as the as the individual is growing up. No? Pero, pag may problems with relationships, we sometimes go back to object relations. Okay, baka may something wrong there. No? So, Nueva, how to get a man? Yes, I-analyze no. mo. <laughs> I-analyze mo ang behavior ng mama. Based on object relationships, <laughs> may endear ka pag may mga characters ka na mapakita na parang similar to the mother. <laughs> ah, I ah, have diba? an idea na do- <laughs> <laughs> Joke lang yun ha. Like, di ba, when you, when, you, when you miss home, no? when you miss home, and then when you go home, you, you want to, ano, gusto mo kainin gusto gusto mong ipagluto ka ng nanay mo. No? Kasi yan yung ano, yan yung maalala mo sa mother mo. Y- you want to do certain things that uh, so ganyan din no. We want to ano ba? We want other people to treat us like what our mothers treated us before. No? Pero yan maging extreme yan kung may pathologic ano na ha, kung may pathology na. But normally, there's a reason why we miss home is because we miss the things na andyan sa bahay, like uh, how we are taken care of by the mother, how mother cooks for us, you know, etc. Et so, Neba, any comment? Okay, pagluto na ko siya, Dok, para ayaw ko rin siya sa father na ko. <laughs> Tapat, alamin mo ang luto ng nanay. <laughs> Medyo mahirap yan, Dok, pero... <laughs> Joke lang ha, bawal tikon dito. Okay? Yes, what? Uh, sandali lang. Uh, parang kulang kayo. Si Al, tati is first year, no? First year po si Al. Opa, he is absent now. Ah, uh, ano duty po kami doc, uh, may tinitingnan po na patients sa baba po doc. Ah, uh, for okay. ano lang po ito doc, second year and third year po. Ah, second year. Ah, si sa so si si sino pang first year? Si Michael is second year second po. Second year. Doc. Ah, okay. Sige, nalibog ko. Wala ang tingin ko sa inyo mga first year pa. Anyway, sige na lang. I'm so sorry. Sige. Nanino o daw si Mike doc, ay wala pa natawag doc. Lagi, sa sunod. <laughs> yung mas mahirap na na question. Yes, no? <laughs> uh, continue, Meko. So, another function of our ego is defensive function. So, Freud consider repression to be virtually synonymous with defense. So, more specifically, repression was directed primarily against the impulse, drives, or drive representations, and particularly against direct expression of the sexual instinct so defensive function so this is where the defense mechanism repression lang ah repression lang po ang discuss ko <laughs> so ano yung repression is it uh, 
unconscious, unconscious. Unconscious pa, Doc. Okay, kunyari lang. May, uh, ang, ang, yung in, isang individual may problem. No? But he can face the problem. He can solve the problem. So, what he does is, okay, I'll forget this problem muna. Hindi i-deny ha. Yung deny is, wala akong problema. This one, I will forget this problem for the moment. Anong defense yan? Suppression. 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 So, ano? Conscious siya, Doc, ang suppression. Oo. So, there's, there's, uh, yung conscious, ang suppression is part conscious, part unconscious. Na, yung isa, repression is unconscious. Kita nyo, difference? Yes. Apa, okay. So, you, you, you use the correct terms, ha? Okay. Next. Next is the synthetic function, which refers to the capacity to integrate various aspects of its functioning. So this involves the capacity to unite, organize, and various, uh, bind various drives, motives, tendencies, and functions within the personality. So enabling the individual to think, uh, feel in an organized and directed manner. So that is some that is Hello, may uh, you 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 want to call a friend <laughs> para example Mukha ah, yes, mo friend no. si Michael oh, Adam. friend ko yan si Michael oh, Adam sige. po dog Sige Dog Mike <laughs> <laughs> um, synthetic, synthetic functions um, refers to the self-capacity to integrate various aspects of its functioning. So this involves the capacity to unite, organize, and var uh, bind various drives, motives, tendencies, and functions within the personality. So enabling the individual to think, uh, feel in an organized and directed manner. Uh, ba ba um, ano ba ha? How will I? Yung synthetic function, uh, Michael, you are correct. Pero it, it also has something to do with planning. Like, o oh, sige, uh, super ego says one thing, it says one thing, and the ego will plan on what to do. Yan yung conscious ano part of the ego no kunyari uh, ano ba uh, you are correct like kunyari sa killing somebody yung aggressive ano uh, aggress aggression ng sa id pero uh, super ego says that's not correct it's a sin against god and the law so ang ego 